Some people just don't like each other, and it can make life pretty tough. But hatred isn't just a human trait. Even animals can have troublesome relationships. These are the most savage animal rivalries in the world. Number 15. Anacondas vs. Tigers the largest snakes in the animal kingdom are green anacondas, the krakens of the Amazon. Measuring at around 29 feet with one inch in diameter, weighing in at up to 550 pounds, they are massive. Out of the male and the female, the female appears to always be larger than the male, spending most of their time in the marshes and streams, moving slowly and silently. They're not the quickest when they're on land, but when they're in the water, they are efficient swimmers. They can stay submerged in water for a very long time because of the way that their nasal openings close. Interestingly, their eyes are on the top of their head. On the other hand, the adult tiger weighs in at 300 pounds. But every so often, there comes a massive 550-pound tiger. These large tigers are very safe from the anaconda as long as their paws and legs don't get wrapped and trapped up. The tiger has the advantage on land. However, the anaconda has the advantage in the water. Both are naturally suited to being ruthless hunters in their environments. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the odd topic. This image, snapped by a professional wildlife photographer, shows just how serious the rivalry between otters and crocodiles can get. You might think in such a situation, the crocodile would always come out on top, but as you can see in this photo, otters can be just as savage and often win the tussles that unfold. Things ended very badly for this poor croc. That's one angry looking otter. Comment down below with the hashtag oddtopic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 14. Hippos vs. Crocodiles the infamous hippo, a giant blubbery herbivorous mammal who needs vast amounts of grass to survive. The crocodiles are big carnivores with a large jaw and a big appetite. They eat all the fish and any of the unsuspecting prey in the vicinity who only wish to get a bit of hydration. laying in wait for their chance to strike with vicious power. So if crocodiles are carnivores and hippos are herbivores, which by definition would mean that hippos are the crocodile's prey, how can they lie next to each other in harmony around a waterhole? The truth is that if the crocodile was able to, it would strike and devour the happy hippos, but they don't because of just how punishing and risky it will be to even attempt it. With a mean bite, the hippo has a ridiculously punishing bite, which is quite a feed considering that they're herbivores. Then considering the sheer mass, robust nature, and strength of the hippo, they probably think live to fight another day, huh? An average sized crocodile versus a hippo. The hippo wins then. Throw in the fact that the hippos will band together to repel any threats. It's strange, they have the apex predator status almost, but they're herbivores. A very cool place to be for a floating rock. Number 13. Elephant vs. Rhino If we're talking about pure mass, nothing tops the elephant in weight. A big adult male elephant is on average 3.2 meters in height, weighing a ridiculous 6 tons. For perspective, that's about 3 times as heavy as a big adult black rhinoceros, which weighs in at about 2.3 tons. Rhinoceros seem rather small in comparison when you look at the stats. Although the elephant is larger, a rhinoceros can be extremely aggressive with nearly 1 out of every 2 males dying as a result of getting into fights with other rhinoceros. The elephant can use its large tusks and mighty feet to attack. However, the rhino would possibly have the upper hand if the elephant took a direct hit. 
particularly if the rhino was able to strike first. With its incredibly sharp horn of solid keratins, which is hair that constantly grows and hardens over its lifetime, they can charge at up to 50 kilometers per hour. Truly though, both animals have fearsome power and have incredible endurance. And lastly, they are equally intelligent. This is perhaps why they don't typically get into fights. Number 12. Polar Bear vs. Walrus Typically, the monarch of the Arctic is known as the polar bear. Another strong Arctic citizen resides inside the frozen world of this prestigious national dictator who does not readily adhere to the bear-related law, the name of which is the Mighty Walrus. On the topic of these two terrifying warriors of the frozen Arctic, a couple of our science team members pitched in to offer their views on who really dominates. What do you think is larger, a walrus or a polar bear? A mature male polar bear can weigh more than 700 kilograms, making it one of Earth's largest land carnivores. Walruses, however, are much larger. An adult male walrus can weigh more than 2,000 kilograms, around three times as much as a polar bear. Do polar bears hunt walruses? Well, the enormous unexpected disparity in size causes polar bears to chase walruses. This is a phenomenon that usually occurs in the wilderness. The predator will often hunt creatures larger than itself. What's incredible is that bears do not hunt cooperatively, being a solo hunter. Just think if they hunted in packs, how awfully powerful polar bears could be. Number 11. Asian Giant Hornet vs. A Honey Bee the Asian giant hornet, the largest hornet in the world that is over 4 centimeters long. Yikes, that is quite epic. And they were discovered in northwestern Washington. It dwarfs all other winged insects around it, making the yellowhead bumblebee, bold hornet, and western yellow jacket appear tiny, even to the strong looking bumblebee. The hornets are known for their painful stings and extremely aggressive nature. This puts the honeybees in danger, especially for the concerned beekeepers. Both of these insects are incredibly suited to strategic strategic and ruthless warfare. Scouting and relaying information on enemy positions and bringing almost entire colonies against each other for maximum effect. A special note to make, hornets and even wasps are a real threat to the honeybee. Global efforts are being made to promote healthy bee colonies and drive back the hornet and wasp populations. Without serious effort, global pollination will suffer as a result. Even though honeybees are resilient and able to withstand very large attacks on their colonies, it's important to assist the fight where you can. If you need the numbers, 30 giant hornets can take on 30,000 bees and win. Number 10. Killer Whale vs. Great White Shark The killer whale will viciously strike the great white shark, who is powerless to protect himself from this apex predator, regardless of fearsome and terrifying strength. A wide white fin, Gorilli, had bite marks on its fins showing that the whales were playing a form of tug of war with the shark, thus gripping onto the fins of the shark in order to tear the skin and break the capacity of the sharks to swim and then hit the liver resulting in certain death. As aggressive as this is, there's no doubt whether the whales are attacking the shark's liver. Sharks are different from most of the fish. They've got huge, fatty livers that help them keep afloat. The white shark's liver makes up 28% of its entire body weight. 90% of this will be high-energy lipids. In other words, one adult white shark liver could contain 400 liters of oil and a lot of energy. So literally, a huge, fat dream meal for other carnivores with great needs. I'd still be terrified to swim with either of these sea predators if they were in a bad mood. How about you? Number 9. Anaconda vs. Crocodile while some creatures have similar methods of targeting and fighting, in most cases, size matters. Some animals are so strong and terrific and land-based that they can kill anything that gets in their way. Others, very differently, are more involved in the way they attack. What happens when the largest crocodile meets the most powerful snake? Who do you think is going to win? A gigantic snake called the anaconda or a saltwater crocodile? 
The very big and terrifying anaconda snake is found in South America, its native habitat. It is the most widely recognized snake, and it is known for its size and the fear it gives rise to. A crocodile is one of the most terrifying bites in the animal world, where an anaconda will strangle and ingest a whole crocodile. Really, this battle comes down to scale. A massive enough crocodile would use its bite and tearing strength to weaken the snake, whereas if the anaconda could curl itself around the crocodile, then the crocodile would be crushed. It's a wrestling match with dire consequences. Number 8. Drongo Bird vs. Meerkats The Battle of the Trickster vs. the Sentry Drongos are birds that are famous for their proficiency as robbers and mimics. The fork-tailed drongo will often go out of its way to imitate the predator alert of the sentry ward of meerkats, an astute family protector and defender, creating a glaring hole in the meerkats' defenses. After they've tricked the meerkats, they swoop all the way down to neck their undefended morsels. Little drongos also accompany the larger adults on their theft missions, and they make fake warnings of their own. after learning from their mentors doing the same. Nevertheless, eventually, you're gonna count on the Drongo's mimicry to begin carrying slim opportunities. The meerkats are not lacking in astute perception. If they make too many fake alarms, its enemy, the sentry meerkat, may just discover that they're being duped, and then the trickster Drongo has no chances of stealing a sweet treat, and the juicy prey will not be his. All of a sudden, at the sound of a fake sentry alarm, no meerkat will even pay attention, having recognized the fake Dronco meerkat call. Number 7. Lion vs. Hyena Hyenas do not let lions mess them about when it comes down to their dinner. When that happens, a lion trying to rush and steal a quick meal from one, a decision has to be made. Hyenas know that lions are superior in strength and skill. They are an apex predator, whereas hyenas are mostly scavengers. However, on the odd occasion a hyena does not back down, whether it's due to hunger, territory, or simply biology, with their threatening pose, hyenas might refuse to back down from a fight. Not letting the lions attack them, they will frighten the lions away and eat their food in peace. The lions will usually be able to scare a hyena away, so it takes a lot for a clan of hyenas to fiercely defend their food. Known to be quite savage in large numbers, the hyenas are not nice with their prey either. If the lions know they are outmatched, then they know not to continue the assault, because it's not a nice way to go out and may not turn out to be a happy meal, but instead an execution gone wrong. Number 6. Sharks vs. Dolphins in the Battle of the Great White Shark vs. Dolphins, there is an epic aquatic battle that goes on in the deep blue. Sharp intelligence with pounding barrages of assaults versus the brawn, large, fierce jaws of the killer Great White Shark. An underwater family of mutual teamwork versus absolutely savage, destructive, and rugged individualism. While these intense and fatal hostilities have been going on many years, the skirmishes are brief, short, and rarely do we ever see them due to the speed at which they occur, and then they're over. With blinding speed, a great white shark will swim into the midst of a dolphin pod. The reaction? They will scatter if they sense the imminent threat. However, if the dolphin pod is forced to protect itself, the great white shark can find itself on the receiving end of some quality poor judgment, bruised and beaten and unable to proceed. This is really a matter of surprise versus awareness. The reality of life's savagery in the wildness is not something to be taken lightly. Number 5. Rhino vs. Lion Lions, for the most part, typically dwell in savanna and grassland. They are wasting their time in the bushes as it serves them well to be able to see what is around them. They are more social than the rest of the cats and have a natural defense to most attacks. The male lion is unbelievably distinctive with a massive mane and a loud roar. <laughs> 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 
The white rhino requires open, undulating woodland, which means the white rhino and lion don't cross paths often. Although with ample grass and permanent water sources, rhinos are less aggressive in nature and much more sociable and roam in groups of about 15. Adult male rhinos are, for the most part, solitary animals, except while fighting. If there's a battle that ensues between a rhino and a lion, the result will be intense, exciting, and full of anticipation. The rhino could charge at the lion and send it flying into the air. Then you'd really have to question the merits of the big cat's hunting prowess. Therefore, the rhino would win the fight. It is most likely that the rhino knocks the lion out with its large horns and tough hide. If the lion's brought enough members to the party, though, those claws sure look like they would lacerate anything in enough multitudes. Number 4. Bears versus Wolves Grizzly bears are usually the kings of the forests. But it's always a challenge when dealing with the rise of an equal competitor, the fierce gray wolf. Wouldn't want to move in on that territory. You see, because contact between gray wolves and grizzly bears is fraught with perilous fears. It is always a powerful display of primal predators, going in for the kill if threatened beyond the warning signs. <laughs> Grizzly bears appear near wolf dens. These grizzlies are also drawn to wolf dens because of the scent of leg bones and other nourishing nutrition left behind that the pack bring back to feed their young ones. Grizzly bears will take what they can if they are able to. The grizzlies are bigger, but the wolves are faster and more powerful than the bear. And in a world where everyone is hungry, the grizzly will always need to be ready for a fight. If going in without proper consideration, he may just find that he is in lunch. However, if that battle were to ensue, you could almost guarantee that there will be serious casualties for the pack. Number 3. Ant Wars If you look at ants as a vibrant society of moving parts, there are a few that will engage in a political insurrection. One of them is like combat between colonies of the same species for control of a territory. The other form involves dealings with a number of different types of ants which have various strengths and weaknesses. These two forms of dispute are vital to their ways of achieving success. The ants wars are very direct and aggressive forms of interplay between ants from separate colonies. Ants compete with various ants. Some of the reasons that they'll fight is if one colony monopolizes the supply of food, stripping other colonies from access to that source of nourishment. If the source is not convenient for multiple ants, then the ensuring result will be a culmination of survival and security. These types of contentions will lead to where ants physically take part in direct battles with each other. Quite medieval in its approach, each colony defends and enforces the will of their queens with zealous fury combined with mutual dedication to the cause. Number 2. Mongoose vs. Cobra Mongooses are quite proficient at destroying snakes such as cobras. The reason for this is because of their nimbleness, thick coats, and glycoproteins that make them resistant to snake venom. There aren't a lot of animals out there who can fight a king cobra and eat it for dinner, but a mongoose is one of them. So how can it be that a slender mongoose can take on one of the most venomous snakes in the world like a king cobra, whose venom can kill a human in just under 30 minutes? It is a thriller, but there are a few different advantages that have allowed the mongooses to add venomous snakes to their list of entrees. Their strengths lay in the mongooses' speed and agility. They have strong jaws and thick coats to block the creepy cobra's fangs. They will rush a cobra, which, given its measurement and extravagantly poisonous venom, is actually very shy and uninterested in tangling with others. Fighting mongooses are at the absolute pinnacle of, perhaps I won't go there, maybe I'll just slide on by. It's not impossible for mongooses to get sick or or even die from a cobra bite, even on a good day. But thankfully for them, the mongooses develop a glycoprotein that sticks to the venom, meaning that the right level of snake venom does not affect them. Number 1. Tigers vs. Lions these magnificent creatures are the titanic clash of who is the coolest cat in the business. The interesting thing is that the lion and the tiger are not really in competition with each other. The influence of these two biggest cats has always interested most cat enthusiasts. While it really depends on the height, age, and aggressiveness of the animals involved, tigers tend to have a big advantage. This is due to their overall size, but don't forget that a lion is not usually alone, which is a massive advantage to the lion. 
tigers are more capable of fighting on their hind legs, making them fearsome indeed. It's considered that the mane of a male is a natural defense for its neck in combat and for confusion. However, the tiger also has stripes to add to his level of intimidation and confusion. So both of these big cats have similar natural advantages. What cat is your favorite? Which do you think would win in an all-out rumble for the most part? What did you think of our 15 most savage animal rivalries in the world? Have you ever witnessed a clash of epic proportions in the wilderness? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.